Hello everyone, this is Game Frosted. Today we'll be doing another great video where we are going to change the resolution of your rooted phone. Still, my phone is the Moto E5 Play and I've been wondering of like, hmm, since my phone was 720p because it's a low end device, why not change it to 1080p? So I did and it worked. But you know, now this phone went a little bit slower than usual and it got a little bit buggy. So I tweaked the performance like the processor performance and all this other stuff but today is going to be a simple tutorial of how to change the resolution of your rooted phone so let's get to it so the first thing we're going to do is to download an app called easy dpi changer i bet most of you guys know what this is and many people used it but it requires root so it supports android oreo i have oreo and it did work um, it, it has DPI calculator and all this other crazy stuff and its main purpose is to change the resolution of your device which actually was successful when I changed it to 720 to 1080 I see like maybe a slight difference in visual quality but it looks a little bit more crisp so uh, let's go and open the app <laughs> when I was busy recording the video um, I had so many issues talking so I had to keep my mind straight so uh, right now it's checking WN I really don't know what that means maybe just checking the uh, the device configuration or something like that um, I am not going to change my resolution during the video because it might mess up the video so this is how it's going to work so let's say if you have uh, a 720 most most devices most low end devices come up with a 720p package so it's the resolution is going to be like this basically it will be 720 by uh, t um 1280 so if you see it like this and you're like man how can i up my resolution well um you could do this 720 is supposed to be 1080 by 1920 if if you if you do it the other way around it it wouldn't work it's gonna be like it's gonna be um like a widescreen phone and it'll be stuck on widescreen instead of being on portrait mode you see what I get there um before you do this it's going to ask for root access of course and you have to press grant so when you press enter for the resolution it's going to ask you are um do you want this resolution to be set um and you have to click okay now what you're gonna see is that there's gonna be a, dif a difference in the dpi now the higher the dpi i believe the bigger the icons and the notifications are i believe if you if you want to lower the dpi you can lower it from like 300 to 280 or uh, 400 to 350 or something like that but to be honest what I what I what I advise for everybody is that when you change your resolution it's going to degrade um, maybe maybe 15% or 10% of performance off your phone because the time I'm real uh, I'm making this video is very laggy so I added some performance tweaks into it but still like laggies you see um that's how this is how the resolution works um the padding changer and dpi chain calculator i advise not to do it because it really doesn't matter so you go here now now if you guys want to keep the resolution every time the phone boots you could set the resolution again so if, if your phone is 720 by 1280 1280 just just put 1080 by 1920 don't do it the other way around I advise you not to because it will mess up your phone um yeah that's all I have for today if you guys love this video I mean, yeah uh, make sure to leave a like and if you are interested in my content my channel make sure to subscribe um, I'm pretty much I'm going to make new videos this week um, I hope that uh, you know is, is relevant I guess 
Um, when I was looking at the other mobile video that I created, how to speed up your device, I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty good. I did not know that people would actually like it. Those um, good likes over dislikes, there was actually no dislikes at all. I don't know, maybe it was a good informative video. So I'm like, you know, maybe I should make this video. Uh, but remember, this is only for rooted device. If you could, if you know how to root your Android 8, you can. I was thinking about making a rooted device, but it's kind of complicated to go through because this Motorola, like it, it really takes. It took me about like 30 minutes to root this Motorola, so I don't really have time to explain all of this. But if you guys like this video, please leave a thumbs up, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.